Just minutes ago, the James Webb Telescope discovered the first ever galaxy in this century. We'll probably pick up signals from an extraterrestrial civilization, a galaxy so old it shouldn't even exist yet. About one-fifth of these galaxies have Earth-sized planets, this new godlike entity residing in its universe, born before our entire creation. We realize we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe, throwing our entire understanding of space and time into chaos, forcing scientists to rethink everything. Now they're scrambling to make sense of data that seems impossible. How can a galaxy be older than the universe itself? Let us explore the alien universe old enough to be the creator of humankind. The discovery defies the cosmos. The implications are monumental, placing long-held theories under scrutiny. Researchers around the world pore over the data, their minds racing to unravel this cosmic puzzle. Proposals for new theories emerge, each attempting to explain the inexplicable. The crux of this scientific quandary lies with a James Webb Space Telescope. Its unparalleled capabilities have peered further into space than ever before, unearthing. Findings that confound and intrigue. With each celestial image it captures, the telescope seems to open a Pandora's box of questions that could occupy scientists for decades. The idea of changing what we know about the universe is as exciting as it is challenging, standing on the edge of what might be a major scientific breakthrough. The discovery of this old galaxy could either deepen our understanding of the universe or show how much we don't yet know. We're uncertain about the future, but one thing is clear. The James Webb Telescope has forever changed how we see the universe. This remarkable find makes us rethink what we know about the universe. If it's true that there's a galaxy older than the universe itself, this might mean the universe is older than we thought or our methods of measuring age might be wrong. Scientists are busy comparing their data with other tools, trying to confirm or disprove what the James Webb Telescope saw. This search not only tests what we know, but also highlights the ongoing effort to uncover the truth in science. Reviewing all this data takes time and caution. Scientists want to be certain before they declare such a significant shift in our understanding of the universe. They are double-checking their work, considering different explanations, and developing new theories to explain this unusual finding. While this is happening, the scientific community is discussing and debating the implications of this discovery. Some are skeptical, thinking it's more likely an error. Others are excited, seeing it as an opportunity to learn something new and advance our knowledge of the universe. This discovery has sparked a lot of interest and will likely lead to many more studies and research projects. The James Webb Space Telescope is hard at work studying the far reaches of space, gathering precious information from distant galaxies. Each finding adds to scientists' knowledge about the universe, providing insights into our origins and the cosmic forces at work. Recently, it identified an old galaxy, a significant event in the quest to understand more about the cosmos. As the telescope sends back more data, astronomers use it to check their theories and improve their models of the universe. They are also searching for other old galaxies and cosmic events that might explain the early universe's conditions. This ongoing effort to learn more is essential for advancing scientific knowledge and expanding our understanding of the universe. One particularly interesting discovery is galaxies so old they appear to have formed before the Big Bang, which is thought to have happened about 13.8 billion years ago. This creates a puzzle for scientists. They must either stick to current theories that say nothing existed before the Big Bang or rethink the Big Bang theory entirely. Following the release of the first deep field image from the Webb Telescope by NASA, researchers have been finding new evidence that challenges what we know. Rohan Naidu, a young astronomer at Harvard and his team, discovered a galaxy called Glass Z13, which seems to have formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. The glass in the name stands for Grism Lens Amplified Survey from Space, a global project to find the universe's oldest galaxies. This project initially used gravitational lensing to find these galaxies and now uses images from the Webb Telescope. The discovery of Glass Z13 has sparked a lot of discussion worldwide. How could a well-developed galaxy exist so soon after the universe began? The information challenges our current ideas about galaxy formation and the timeline of the cosmos. This might mean we are missing important information or that our whole understanding of cosmic history needs revising. The universe keeps revealing surprises that challenge what we know and push us to explore even deeper. Glass Z113 and Macy's Galaxy, as more discoveries come to light, it's evident that our lack of knowledge about the universe is substantial. 
perhaps even more than what we currently comprehend. Each new piece of data expands our knowledge and highlights the significant gaps in our understanding of the universe's early moments. This ongoing discovery process is crucial as it drives the scientific community to continually test and revise our theories, striving for a clearer and more accurate understanding of our cosmos. There's no question about it Glass Z13 was present in the cosmos 13.4 billion light years from Earth. This isn't just any distant galaxy, it's one of the brightest ones observed so early in the universe's history. It's filled with activity highlighted by vigorous star formation that's too significant to overlook. Glass Z113 houses a cluster of young mass stars known as Population 3 stars, which were among the first to light up the universe. These stars are gigantic, extremely bright, and have short lives. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with a sophisticated spectrometer, plays an essential role in studying such distant celestial objects. This device doesn't merely capture light, it meticulously separates it into a spectrum, allowing detailed analysis. When Webb looked at Glass Z113, it uncovered surprising information. The galaxy has a very low level of heavy elements, known as low metallicity, which is common in young galaxies. However, there's an unusual aspect to this galaxy, it's highly structured, which is not typical for its young age. This finding poses significant questions. How can such a young galaxy already be so well formed? This unusual situation suggests that there might be flaws in our current understanding of how galaxies mature, indicating that our scientific models might need adjustments. Alternatively, Glass Z113 could be an outlier, an exceptional case that defies standard patterns of galactic development. The implications of Webb's findings are profound, prompting scientists to reconsider some fundamental aspects of cosmic evolution. The data suggests that there might be undiscovered processes at work in the early universe, influencing galaxy formation and structure. Glass Z13 stands out not just for its brightness, but as a challenge to our comprehension of galactic dynamics, shining intensely from the remote reaches of space, demanding a thorough examination and understanding. The discovery of galaxies like Glass Z13 and Macy's Galaxy has significantly shaken our current understanding of how galaxies form and develop due to their structure and composition. These galaxies should be several billion years old according to established scientific models. However, startling research suggests that they are much younger, forming only about 270 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. This timing suggests they began to take shape before the universe itself had officially begun. According to our existing knowledge of the Big Bang, this situation presents a substantial challenge to astronomers and physicists alike. The fact that these galaxies exhibit characteristics of much younger galaxies, such as high rates of star formation and the presence of lighter metals, while also maintaining a level of structural complexity expected in older galaxies, raises serious questions about our fundamental theories of cosmic evolution. The issue became even more intriguing with the confirmation of Macy's galaxy, named by astronomer Stephen Felstein in honor of his daughter's birthday. This wasn't just a one-time finding. The existence of another such galaxy reinforces the notion that these aren't mere oddities, but perhaps indicators of a significant gap in our understanding of cosmic history. The scientific procedures used to determine the age and characteristics of these galaxies have been thorough. The data has been cross-verified through multiple tests, all confirming the unexpected maturity of these galaxies. This solid evidence makes it hard for the scientific community to dismiss these findings as errors or anomalies. For now, the astronomical community is carefully examining all aspects of these findings, aware that the implications are profound. Further investigations and more data are needed to fully understand how these galaxies fit into the broader cosmic picture. The ongoing study of Glass C13 and Macy's Galaxy promises to potentially reshape our understanding of the cosmos urging scientists to possibly rewrite parts of the cosmic rulebook. But until then, the path of discovery continues, each step revealing more about the complex and surprising nature of the universe. Around 4.25 billion years after the universe began with a big bang, the earliest stars started to shine, shedding light across space. These stars grouped together in sparse clusters, forming what we might think of as early galaxies. These groups were small and simple, which fits with what scientists expect from the universe at such an early stage. However, the discovery of fully formed galaxies containing hundreds of thousands or even millions of stars from this time doesn't fit with our standard theories of how the universe developed. 
New discoveries in the early universe force us to rethink our old ideas and theories, hidden realms of the early universe. Dr. Fleen and his research team have found not just one or two, but many potential galaxies that seem to develop for their age. According to the universe's timeline, in one detailed interview, Dr. Fleen explained that their telescope's first deep field image likely includes hundreds of these overly mature galaxies. Despite the excitement these findings generate, confirming them involves a lot of careful examination and time. Shortly thereafter, the Webb telescope captured a second deep field image, adding more complexity to our understanding of the early universe. This image also showed signs that galaxies and stars formed earlier and were more numerous than what our older scientific theories had predicted. The James Webb Space Telescope has supported the idea that stars existed far sooner and in greater 